But just know, Zebo is where it's at. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Last Minute Podcast. I'm already got Zebo. What's going on? We back. Episode 163 of the most consistent podcast in the Carolinas. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, different sound. Ain't it normally the bomb? No, then you say, uh, oh. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was my miss. <laughs> there it is. All right. Uh, we back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We back. Yeah. We back. We back. We back. What's going on with you? Man, another Sunday. <sighs> another Sunday. Good weekend. Oh, good weekend. weekend. I did. I did. It Word. was a good weekend. Um, Really chill. <clears throat> Got to really chill. Did a little bit of work. Yeah. Got to chill. Word. It was nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, I just I didn't do nothing. During the day, really, I, I did some mixing and shit, working on some projects, and then uh, they went to shout out Savvy Mulatto, went to uh, Park After Dark to Mulatto. watch Savvy perform. Yeah, yeah, that uh, went good. Yeah, it's super dope. It was a, a good performance from Savvy. How uh, long was the set? Like ten minutes? Uh, yeah. Well, like it was like probably eight minutes. Okay, I okay, did like right. four songs. Okay, but um, yeah, dope spot. Um, shout out to the the Spoke Easy. Yes, sir. Um. It's a, I guess it's a bike shop. I ain't really going inside, so I don't know exactly what it is. But I'm assuming it's a, it's a bike shop. Mm-hmm. Um, they do a little show out in the courtyard, and that shit is dope. So it's a dope event. Um, shout out to uh, Donnie Parks. I believe he's the host of it. Okay. Um, nah, he is the host of it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how who all is involved in organizing it, but shout out to them. It's a dope event. Word. Um, okay. That's what we want to hear. But yeah, I had to... Unfortunately, I didn't stick around to watch everybody else perform. I had to, I had to run to the next show. Went to uh, DDA Tink's competitive showcase. Shout out Tink. That shit is dope. Yeah, um, that's yeah. Up. They got some shit going on over there. Okay. Yeah. So we got, we got to tune in. Yeah, they got some shit going on. They got one more. Uh, I believe it's September twenty eighth. Uh, Confirm that on DDA Tink's Instagram. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> gotta. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, nah. If you uh, if you haven't been to one, I suggest making it to one. It's it's dope. Um, it's cool to bring like that. You know, at most show cases, a lot of people like scared to, mm-hmm. like uh, I guess judge people mm-hmm. and like give them feedback on their music. But like that's the whole point of this one, and it's like a real competition. People really trying to I win. Had some stuff to say. Yeah. yeah, and there's like incentives. There's incentives and shit. They got um, they got a bunch of different sponsors. People people sponsoring like studio time. Oh, word. Uh, that's ra- dope. Radio play. That's like, dope. Um, Interviews on podcasts and stuff like that. So, um, super dope event. I mean, that sounds cool. like very good for the community. Yeah, a lot of good performers. A lot of people came out. Um, yeah, that shit was dope. That's what's up. That's what's up. Shout out to you. Shout out Savvy. Um, also, shout out to our sponsors, Mama Cedar's Food Truck, Libation Mobile Bar. Make sure you get your tacos <clears throat> and get your drinks. Um, we had a uh, ASAP Rocky Don't Be Dumb live stream that was supposed to um, stream this week, but. Sadly, he delayed the album to this fall. Boo. We don't. Yeah, big boo. Um, uh, yeah, we don't have, we don't have the new date. I gotta get a new boo, but we gotta get. <laughs> that shit mad long. <laughs> <For real. laughs> We're gonna get a new date whenever we get that new date. We'll check in with y'all, and as long as everything in line, we'll we'll definitely do it again. Yeah, but um, he gonna drop it camp week. I'm already knowing, bro. I'm mad because bro, we can I'm stream like, a camp though. Well, no, this is the thing. I'm mad because. I had everything aligned. He's gonna drop this album this week. He's gonna go on tour starting October. Like I know, I know. Yeah. Now it's like oh, that. That ain't gonna happen. Yeah, nah. You know what I'm saying? Like he gonna drop. I'm telling you, bro. Our luck. He dropping camp week, and we gonna have to stream. Fuck it. We taking the podcast to the camp. Man, I'm trying to go to New York, bro. When it's not cold, bro. Oh, yeah, nah. He he hitting. February, <laughs> dead, like dead in the middle of it. Yo, you just messed up my plans, Rocky. Dang. Yeah. But um, yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely keep y'all updated with that. Um, let's go over. Let's jump into it. Let's see what we've been listening to this past week. So I've been listening to a lot of um, Party Next Door Four P Four. Word. Yeah, that's a that's a good album. That's a good album. Yeah. It's a good album. He still man, that show. I'm st- yeah, that was a great show. That show was amazing. Great show, great show, great show. Uh, I've been I ran uh if you're reading this, it's too late, Drake. Ugh. Great album. Great album. Of course, uh I've been running Larry, Larry June. I ran a little bit of uh, T Lot Four, Pierre Bourne. Have you listened to the new Larry June album again? No. No? No. You're not gonna go back to it? I will eventually. Eventually. Like okay. I'll just let me run this. But um 
No, I, I just have a dedicated playlist that I go to, and, and them songs ain't making. It. Yeah, I think like maybe one made it or so. I got you. But um, I ran DC Two Trills new single. All right, that's fine. Yeah, that's your heart. I ran Kendall Cuz new single. Winner will eat us alive. That shit is amazing. <clears throat> yeah, very very great single. Um, definitely go check that out. And uh, I ran a little bit of Trippy Red, Trip at McKnight. Uh, no, yeah, Trip at Night. I'm sorry. I saw it was a one year anniversary this past <laughs> week. At McDonald's. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, a tribute McKnight. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> I ran a little bit of that album. I saw it was a one year anniversary, and um, I loved it whenever it first dropped. It. I ran it again in full, and that's a great tribute red album. Great mm. album. And I ran a little bit of um, Go Mouth, uh, Luke. Oh, shout out Luke. Yeah, yeah. I ran some Go Mouth, Luke. Oh, and Brandon's new EP. I ran Brandon's new EP. Tough. Um, yeah, 24. yeah, twenty four. Tough. Very solid. Shout out to um. J Sat, shout out to Kayla Arnold, the feature on there. Shout out to um Steez and German, everybody uh, that had um Hollis. Shout out Hollis. Yeah, shout out Hollis, shout out everybody on there. And that's really about it this past week. Yeah. Yeah. Solid yeah. week. Solid yeah, week. Solid week. What about you? Uh so I'm Kendall Cut. When yeah. we eat us alive. That shit is yeah yeah yeah. That shit is it's like that yeah, yeah. That shit is like that yeah. Shout um, out Kendall. Yeah, since that dropped, I've been running that mm-hmm. just like every now and then. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. every like every couple songs when I'm riding around, I'm like, yeah. man, let me run that shit again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The production on that's crazy. Production on that's crazy. Yeah. The mix is crazy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the, it is. It's so soulful. Yeah, she's mm-hmm. dope. She's dope. Yeah. Um, shout out Kendall for sure. I know she's been making music for a long time and. uh yeah, this she, whole like uh it sounds it seems like she's like reinventing herself. Yeah, she's really uh, diving in now. Yeah, and it's uh yeah, it's going crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um the past the past three singles she's dropped been dope. Oh yeah, I agree. Um I did run Travis Scott days before rodeo because he put it on stream. Yeah, services. he did, he did. Yeah, I he had did. to I had he to did. run. Yeah. I had I was like, I'm obligated to yeah. run this. <laughs> The amount of he did. the amount of spin real spins right, that days right. before rodeo got he did in 2014 he did um you saw that he did yeah. a um he did a show at the masquerade in Atlanta which is crazy yeah um I think it was like a thousand tickets for ten bucks or something yeah and it was like day of you know what I was mad about though when I was watching the stream the crowd wasn't as lit as they should have been yeah like this is a very Crazy thing to do in twenty twenty four. Them shows like bro at this venue. Bro, I the saw days, Yachty there in twenty fifteen. I just remember seeing clips of days before rodeo being performed when it dropped. Yeah, yeah, bro. Them shows was like riots. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Like I'm. Didn't Travis get arrested for inciting a riot at the show? I know Tyler did. I know Tyler. I'm did. sure Travis has. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah that that shit is insane. I like I. I was so excited when I woke up and that shit was on streaming service. I was like, oh, yeah. we." Yeah, uh, it's like, finally, yeah. dog. It was almost like as much excitement whenever uh, Acid Rap got on the stream. Exactly. It's yeah. like, finally. I don't yeah. have to go to YouTube or try to, you know. Yeah, we still waiting on Friday Night Lights, Cole. Yeah, he tripping. Yeah. Yeah, Come it's on, way bro. overdue for Come that. Come on, bro. Way overdue for that, for sure. Come on. It's kind of far. You want to clear that sample? <laughs> yeah, bro, lame. Bro, lame for real. Bro, uh, lame for real. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what else I listen to? Summertime Butch. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Benny the Butcher, 24, Brandon. Shout out, Brandon. That shit is mm-hmm. hard. Uh, still listening to Shadow Box, Mavi. That album is beautiful. Uh, the production on that is insane. Yeah, shout out Mavi. Um, I did run Sugar Honey Ice Tea, Lotto. Yeah. Lotto be rapping her ass. Nah, off. she do. Bruh, Very she solid be project. Rapping her ass. Very off. solid project. Um, that shit is hard. Um, still running it. If you, it's still running if you say so. Caitlin Arnold. Um, oh, yeah. What else? And a bunch of unreleased stuff. Been listening to a lot of AG Kato. Oh, yeah. Shout um, out Kato. Been listening to a lot of unreleased Savvy. Mm-hmm. Um, unreleased Austin. I'm in, my mix, I'm in my mixing bag, so I'm just running through. It's the mixing bag the, before fall b- comes. Before the drop. Before, before the fall drops. Come. Um, What else? I did run with Love, J Ford. Shout out J Ford. Shout out J Ford. For sure. um, I went back and listened to Tim's album, Born in the Wild. That shit is still just as good as it was when it came out. Oh, yeah. Um, Definitely. That shit is amazing. Uh, what else? Ransom Vance, uh, kind of just random songs off the mm. three classic albums he's dropped in the past three drops. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, I like that. I like that. I like uh, the way you said that. Ransom Miss Us Volume One. Oh yeah. Um, random new Drake leaks. 
Um, no Face. No <coughs> Face is definitely my favorite. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, no Face and This Up are the two, my two favorites from the two three packs that he dropped. Okay. I know, I don't think the second three pack is on streaming services yet. But I don't think so. I know the no, first no, one is. Yeah. Um, but I need No Face on streaming services ASAP. Yeah, yeah, that's hard. That's hard. I'm like, I'm rocking with that SOD. I'm I'm glad he took Yachty off of it because um, Yachty just didn't belong on that song. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Like respectfully, he he just did. <laughs> he Shout just out did. Yachty. I still, I'm sure he still got writing credits on it. Right, exactly. Uh, and we're going to talk about Yachty, Yachty here here in a, in a few. Um, but that's really about it. Okay, so solid week from everybody. Solid week from everybody. Um, There's only two of us. Everybody is plural. <laughs> Everybody's like a lot. Everybody is more than one person. Well, you should have. Like, hello, everybody. I'm not yeah, going to say that to two people. No, but you can. I don't walk into a room and say, hello, everybody, but, and it's two people. But you can. I mean, I guess. Who talks like that? No, I mean, you, you ain't got to say even, hello. You don't talk like that. I'm just saying. Hello, I, everybody. I'm just saying. To two people. Everybody, including me and you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds stupid. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying shit. Everybody. Well, great good week, music. Good week from the couple of us. Yeah, good week from the both of us. How about that? There we go. Good week from the both of us. Everybody. Oh. Um, <laughs> bro, that's, like a, that's like when people throw shows. Everybody in this bitch. It's two people. <laughs> Yo. Whatever. Everybody was in that bitch. Hey, man. Everybody here. Hey, man. Who all there? Everybody. Everybody, too. You got. P, you got you got you got me. You got Cuz. You got Zebo. Everybody there. That's it. Well, who else there? <laughs> oh, you made it sound like it was about 12, 15 people. Everybody. Anyway, um, <laughs> we're gonna dive into um let's see, do we have anything worth rap news? Um I did see um a Philly rapper by YBC. Ooh. Dole. Do? Dole. Oh, I thought I was uh, uh YBC um Dole, aka Mr. Disrespectful. Um, he went viral for digging up somebody at a grave site was shot and killed in his hometown. Damn. Um Oh. Hey. Uh, I ain't really got much to say there. Bless the family. Bless the yeah, family. Yeah, prayers. Yeah, prayers to the family. We have... Oh, one thing about that, though. The day before he got killed, he dropped an interview. And in that interview, he was saying... The interviewer was like, everybody says you're the most hated... You're the most hated rap, You're the most hated rapper in Philly. Yeah. And he was like, they say that, but nobody's ever touched me. <sighs> yeah, so. Uh, well. The tongue is a powerful thing. The tongue is definitely a powerful thing. I Even if I think it, I think it before I, I say it. I'm like, mm, I don't need to say that because that's going to bite me <laughs> in a terrible way. But, yeah, RIP to him. Prayers to the family. Yes. Um, here's a random statistic. Um, young Miami <laughs> says she was nine years old when Joe Budden released Pump It Up. I'm 30 now. Um, they was going back and forth on Twitter. Uh, they, I mean, was, they was beefing. Uh, I Joe Budden that. always beefing with a bitch. Oh, yeah, sorry. Is. That sounded mad. Crazy. Uh, Joe, <laughs> Joe Budden always beefing with a woman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Next subject. So according to court documents obtained by In Touch, Brandon Bills, who is Danny Lee's brother, is now demanding over four million in damages over what went down. Allegedly, he suffered severe injuries, psychological damage, and um, incurred medical bills. Um, <laughs> he argues he's owed two million in general damages and another two million in special damages. Bro, you asked for that. Yeah, you on Instagram. And the fact you you waited. Two years later, to to you're seeking this four million. I love when somebody does like this, does shit like this to the baby because it allows him to rap about it. And he oh, dropped yeah. that short. Yeah. That shit was a lawsuit. Yep. Next, yep. Was it lawsuit this Wednesday? I think yeah, lawsuit. Lawsuit this Wednesday. Lawsuit Wednesday. Lawsuit like on that. Wednesday. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Um, which is hard. So shout out to baby man. I don't the even baby know why. quit always, playing with the baby. The baby keeps it gangster. I don't know why y'all act like he don't, bro. Quit playing with the baby man. The baby keeps and it people, gangster. People gonna be like, oh, but he didn't even beat him up. His security did. That's what security for. That's what security's for. <laughs> I shouldn't have to touch you. Shoot, like what? Like that's why I'm rich. It got security. Exactly. You don't. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and he gonna beat that case because you was all on Instagram live talking about some when I see you, it's up. And yep. when you saw him, you was down. Yeah, you was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Man you was down. down. You was supposed Man. to be up. And you, it was so, supposed to be up, and you was down. Y'all yeah. was fighting on the. Y'all was fighting in the bowling lanes, bro. Bowling lanes is slick. 
That is not Bro, a fight super surface. slick. No, <laughs> super that slick. That is not a fighting surface. Like you might as well damn have socks on for real. Yeah, like that that's is crazy. not. That is not a fighting surface. Um, that so, shit is funny. Shout out to baby man. I don't even know why people still play with him. We done they, seen so many instances of people trying to play with the baby. They do. And it's it don't like, ever it just go don't good. ever end good. Like, bro, what? Dissing your... <laughs> <laughs> dropping a diss track. Nah, that's crazy. On your... On your... Uh, on your... Basically, your kid's uncle. That's crazy. Is uh, Not basically, but your kid's uncle yeah. is, uh, is hilarious. And nobody cared. That shit is hilarious. Shout out to baby man. Shout always out to baby. keeping the game. Always keeping the game to represent the nobody, Carolina. I don't care. Man. I don't care what nobody says. The baby is a good representative of Carolina. Yes. Yeah. Like we don't we don't tolerate the baby slander over here. No. Oh God, we done. Yeah. Nah. We ain't doing oh, that. Oh God, we done. We ain't doing that. Nope. Who was that? Uh, shout out. No. No. It was who was that? It was Kayla. We we was all together um the other day, and I saw the I saw the baby. Uh, it was like a um, not a billboard, but it it was just like something promoting like his album promo. on the wall. Yeah. 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 And I was like, man, shout out, baby, man. She was like, yeah, baby fell off bad. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Now, <laughs> listen, you my friend, and I respect the baby. We ain't going to tolerate no the baby slender. Fell off, he rich. I said, we we not doing that. Just because he not doing should right now. Yeah. Don't mean he didn't fall off. Yeah, nah, he definitely now, we ain't, didn't fall yeah, off. Yeah, we, we ain't talking about, we, we ain't doing that. So The baby stand on business every time. Yeah, he got my respect every time. And he can rap his ass off. Yeah, like Andy from Charlotte. Yeah, like come on, y'all. Hate. How am I hate? Yeah, come on, y'all. How am I come hate? on, y'all. Kayla, let's not hate. Yeah, you better get together. Yeah, let's not hate. I ain't like that. I ain't like that. Is she from? Charlotte? She from New York. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Bro said. laughs> um, adds up. <laughs> <laughs> Bro said adds up. So um, we're gonna dive in. Um, so we got two topics that we're gonna um, discuss today. Okay, yeah, we got two topics. So we'll start with the older one first, which was um, Tyler and Ian. Uh, so Tyler Crater got on an interview, um, good interview by the way, and he was. Um, I don't have the exact quote up, but basically he was just saying there's this white rapper who is mimicking Gucci Man and who else? It was uh, Future. Yeah, Gucci Man and Future. And um, you know he like he's not even a rapper. He's only, you know, th- basically he was just saying like, like get out of here. Basically, like this <laughs> this ain't it. Um, it just sounded very old headish. Um, and it, he got a lot of backlash for it. Um, a lot of people were saying how you know Tyler, like normally you you're you're hip, you're cool. Never thought I'd see today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally you don't say nothing about nobody, especially in that type of manner. And and for you to say that, it's just like very surprising. And then um, his manager ended up getting on Instagram. Which is Akon's brother, for everybody that doesn't know. Correct. Very respected in the music industry. Correct. Everybody's like, who the fuck is he? Uh, he yeah, which is crazy. Very respected in the industry. So. Um, But he got on, um, let me see if I can pull up the quote real quick. Basically, he said, I signed Ian. I'm from Atlanta. Yeah, he's not mocking. Future. Yeah, so he said, he said, "Yo, Tyler, I signed in. I'm from Atlanta. He sounds nothing like Gucci or Future. It's called influence. But I never thought I'd see the day that where you become old and hate on the youth." LOL. So, um, he got a lot of backlash from it. It did sound like some old head hate shit. I, I get where I get what Tyler is saying. Where though. Tyler is coming, from. I get what he's saying though. Mm-hmm. I did but too. It did sound like some old head hating shit, and I just never thought I'd see the day. Correct. That Tyler Correct. Creator became the old head. Correct. Correct. Um, but Tyler is a, uh, you know, what I'm saying he he is a student of the culture, and he does love this. He does love the hip hop culture or whatever. Correct. And the main thing, what basically what his point was is the main thing behind hip hop is originality, creativity, all that stuff. And he just, from what he said, it sounds like he just doesn't like the fact that. Ian's sound is so similar to I don't get the Gucci shit because he don't sound like Gucci, but I, 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 think, I get the future. I get I think the future. Sound like it's like Gucci style beats. It's not though. It's future. Yeah, it's it's not. Yeah, nah. It's it's literally future. Um, and, and it does sound a lot like future. And yes, Ian might just be ripping it off, right? So I get why. I get why Tyler is like. There's no originality in it because I mean, let's just be honest. There's. There's not. The music's yeah. hard though. The music's hard. The, the music hard, and it sounds good. And it seems like he has a, he has a legit fan base. I mean, yeah. I'm a fan of his music. I like his music, and I wouldn't say 
I don't like the term mocking. Yeah, I don't like mocking. Right, because that's like mocking would be if it was more like meme kind of related, yeah. or like, or like, or like if he's like he acting like he's like playing a character and like making fun of these guys. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. Which he's yeah. not. Or like right? making like like the Gucci Burr ad lib or something. Yeah. You know, I mean, like, he pretty much pushes like the standard white dude agenda. Oh yeah, like he don't even dress like a rapper. rapper. He yeah, just no. kind of like a white dude who, you know, like hang with the black kids type of shit. But like, I mean, like a regular white dude. I mean. Yeah, but it's like if he was in a crowd of a bunch of white guys, I I I wouldn't pinpoint. Yeah, he's a rapper. Like I'll just yeah, I mean, he's just another white another dude. guy. Yeah, it's just another <laughs> dude. Um, but but yeah, I, I just think. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like the word mocking. Yeah. I don't like the word mocking, and I'm just really surprised to see Tyler be the one. Yeah, but but uh, me and Jerm, we had a conversation about uh, about this. Make sure y'all go tune in to uh, his interview with Steve. But we we talked about this over the phone, and we was just like, "Okay, you saying all this, right? What if he was black? Like, would you still say what you said if he was black? Probably not. That's what that's what we said. Like, like just uh." Legit, take everything that he said, but it's a black, it's a black kid. Hmm. Same sound, same lyrics, same everything. He's just black. Yeah, I don't think Tyler would have made them comments. I don't think so either. I think because remember in the interview, I mean, he was heavy emphasis like it's just a standard white guy who's mocking Gucci Mane um, and future music, and just like. But I will say how he handles this is important. Yeah. And if I was Ian, I wouldn't even address it. So far, he hasn't addressed nothing. He shouldn't. He 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 released. I think like that next day, he dropped the music video. Yeah, just keep it pushing. And and yeah, he was like, you know, got a show next week. Pull up if you can. Like he totally yeah. like ignored yeah. it, yeah, which you're supposed to. Yeah, just keep it pushing. Yeah, which you're supposed to. Because at the end of the day, hip hop is a is a black culture. It is. Yeah, it just yeah. is what it is, right? And the uh, and the uh, um, the white people such as myself that love the hip hop culture are, I don't want to say guests, right? Because like some of the biggest, like some of the biggest contributors to the success of hip hop and like really push the culture forward. Um, so some, some of those people are white people, right? So I don't want to say guests, but um, like the Jimmy Iveens of the world and some might say they exploited hip hop, but either way they made it a, uh, a national, they made it a fucking worldwide genre of music. Correct. Right. Correct. Um, the executives and all that shit. Um, but when somebody like that questions, like when somebody of Tyler stature questions your, I guess your your spot in hip hop, the best thing you could do is just, all right, bro. Yeah. They keep pushing. Cause, like don't argue with him, like because nah. because like you're not gonna be right. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Like right. yeah, technically, like you're not. You're not gonna. You're be not right. gonna win that battle. No, you're not gonna. You're talking to Tyler Creator. You're yeah. talking to one of the best that's ever done it. Correct. In, yeah. At the end of the day, right? Yeah. Um. So he's gonna automatically like slap that in your face, Paul's like automatically. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Why did you choose them? To- He's gonna throw that in your yeah, face. Yeah, there you go. Automatically, okay. is like, uh, <laughs> do you know who I am? First of all, like, yeah, and that's and that's kind of the thing. It's like, yeah, if I was in, I just keep pushing, right? Um, I've never had to like. Of course, we nowhere near that level yet, but uh, I've never had anybody like question my, I guess, spot in yeah. in, in like hip hop culture. But like being a white person, like it's not. Um, being a white person in a in a in a predominant uh, predominantly black culture, and I mean it's just it's just shit that's gonna happen, right? Like, yeah, yeah, it's just what's well, gonna um, come with it. Yeah, it's the same thing. Like, uh, never mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> before, <laughs> before, before we go too deep into it, yeah. Um, um, but I, I get what you're saying, though, 100. percent Yeah, it's like you're gonna get questioned because, like, at the end of the day, this is a black culture, and people want to know whether you actually have respect for it or you right. just exploit it. Yeah, yeah. Or um, trying to capitalize off and of basically the culture. What, yeah, and basically what Tyler's saying is you exploiting it. And yeah. If if that's the case, then get in the fuck out of here. But I don't think that's the case. I don't think so. Either. I think he's a kid that grew grew up in Atlanta, listening to. Yeah, or I the mean, sun. I don't know where he grew up, but I know he's 
from the Atlanta area. See, that's what me and John talked about. We was like, bro, you in Atlanta. Like, it's, just it's just white, black, Asian, whatever. Hip hop is around you. Yeah. Now, now, whether you let it let it fully dive into your character, you know, that's on you. But it's around like, bro, you. You walk into like like if you go to like a mall or something and you walk into like a Rue 21 futures playing. Yeah, oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where, it's fucking Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like it's like, like you're gonna see rappers, you're gonna hear rappers. It's it's the, it's, yeah, it's, it's like hip hop city. Yeah. So it's the epicenter of hip hop. Yeah. Right? So how do you not expect to have some type of whether it's through fashion, music, um, even personality or you know, some some sort of interest? Like that, that, that the black culture is going to have some type of influence on you, yeah. Whether it's minor or major, it's going to be there, like, yeah. And it's it around you, is. you know, you are who what you're around, you know what I'm saying? If 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 you're around Nashville, Tennessee, and it's country everywhere, with some within time, you're probably gonna make country, music. yeah, or yeah, or you know, you're gonna either talk country, you might either dress country, you might start just tapping into different country things. I mean, yeah. that's just. It's a, your product or your environment. Yeah, your right? environment. And Especially I mean, if you're there growing up as a kid. You know what like, I'm saying? If he was a kid and he's around all his friends and all they listen to is Future and Gucci. Then, then guess what? I mean, shit. <laughs> and if you wanted to end up making music, then, okay, well, when I think music, I'm going to think Future. I'm going to think XYZ. I'm going to think Gucci. I'm going to think, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah. Now, if, you know, five years from now, Ian pulls the Post Malone. Correct. Where he shits on hip hop after exploiting it. Correct. Then yeah, that's yeah, a whole now, now different story. Okay, Tyler was right. Yeah, that's a whole different story. Right? If he takes the Miley Cyrus post Malone route, yep. where it's like, all right, I'm gonna use hip hop while it's the number one genre in the world, right. and then I'm gonna go talk shit about it. Yep. Um, then yeah, fuck in. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, for sure. But as of right now, he seemed like just a kid that was influenced by the culture. Right. And he's making music. And he's making and music and it's hard. going good for him, yeah. yeah. So Okay, I'm gonna keep but doing what I'm doing. <laughs> also, I do agree with like there's no creativity in it. I mean, it's literally future songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. There, there's no it's nothing like There's nothing fresh. original about it. And yeah. again, um, I know there was a big comparison. He sounds like a more clear yeet. Yeah. Pretty much. You know, like, yeah. yeet use kind of more like spacey type of beats where like, okay, if yeet was using straight hip hop, this is what yeet would sound like. Yeah. And it's, uh, but that's just like the game, the way the game is, right? I mean, there's not a lot of originality. Yeah. Especially and origina- right now. originality don't really get pushed to the forefront. No, I don't. Like everything that sounds the same gets pushed to the forefront. Yep. Yep. Um, I would say probably the most different sounding person we've got to date would probably be not to date, but like here recently would be like um a boss man Dilo. His flow is a lot different and yeah. a lot just yeah, his is. just the sound of music is a lot different. Correct. Um the beats are the same, but the way he delivers the lyrics and stuff are a lot. The different. baby was fresh too. Yeah, like bro, he was using like it's like the fast flow, but like I don't know. It's just like the baby just talking that shit. Yeah, it's just like talking shit in such like a like nobody's rapping like the baby. Yeah. Like you can't really mimic that type of rap. Yeah. You know, it's, I mean, it's just like Eminem. Like you can't really mimic that type of style. They try. Yeah, yeah, they they try, but like that's that's Eminem. That's Eminem. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like. So, so, um, anyway, anyway, to conclude, um, and I know we're a little late on this topic, but, um, I just don't like the word mocking. I do hate to see like Tyler out of everybody's one, like said something because nobody's really like said nothing about Ian. They're just like, yeah, you know, okay, well, you know, like, go ahead. I mean, it's either hard or it's not. Yeah. Yeah. It's either hard or it's not. If I, like I said, five years from now, if he make country music, talk about some, yeah, I got on doing hip hop and all that was some bullshit. Yeah. Then yeah. Fuck Ian. Then yeah. yeah, That's different. (laughs) But I mean, I don't don't think that's what, that's what's happening here. But again, you know, we can't tell the future. So we'll see. But, um, that's crazy coming from Tyler though. I never thought. Yeah. It's just like, um, did you watch the Rory and Mal talk about it? Talk about it on their podcast? Yeah. Yeah. That was just like, um, they were just like, like for Tyler, it's like we get what you're saying, but it's just like you're like your rep is so like you're tuned in with like the youth, or you're yeah. tuned in kind of like with what's new. But I mean, right? So in reality, it is Tyler's creator who at one point they tried to call underground, and he basically said, "Fuck the underground." Pretty much. And so I mean, like, because remember how Tyler? You remember Tyler was extremely hated when he got into into the uh, rap game. Yeah, they were what? not. Uh, remember, y'all remember remember his lyrics? This goblin, yeah, this goblin. So they weren't rocking with him. I, I think like the like the the hip hop was rocking with him. 
hip the 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 core like the of hip hop yeah. the, the core of hip hop was like this is new yeah and like, this is dope and he's rapping yeah so yeah. like they were rocking with it but like the outside world yeah they were definitely like what the yeah. fuck he got going on yeah they were just like he's weird he's he, he cockroaches talk- and shit yeah he's yeah. talking about you know doing this to women he's talking about yada yada killing whatever yeah. and, you know it's ve- it's very very explicit yeah. you know and then he got the uh the upside down cross, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, yeah. yeah, we don't like want none of that. Like, we're good on that. Yeah. But like the core hip hop, who knows hip hop, is like, nah, this like this is new, this is fresh, this is dope. We ain't never heard nobody talk about like this kind of stuff, especially over these type of beats. Yeah. You know, he got his own style, yada yada, and he's from L.A. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Um, I'm 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 here to support Ian. Uh, I like his music. I'll be I'll be doing your thing for me, shit. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean at the end of the day, Tyler, Tyler was right in his yeah. take. It was just weird to use the word like mocking and stuff. Yeah, I I get your take a hundred percent. Like it's I'm not, not the a... most creative form of music I've ever heard. Yeah, of. I you agree. No. there's nothing different about it, Mm-mm. but it's hard. So I'm gonna listen to it. Yeah, I everybody know. think it, everybody else thinks it is. So yeah, good for him. Anyway, so next topic. Um, so right now. And we talked about this, uh, I think, three weeks ago. It's this whole Yachty, Concrete, and Caribou situation. This shit is... Oh, and Mitch, and actually just the topic Yachty. This shit right just now. hit the fan. Just Yachty. What was this, Friday? This was... Thursday. F- Thursday. I'm going to go rock climbing. That was... F- no, nah, it was Thursday. Because I, I was in the studio with Delise. That was Thursday. That was Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, long story short... Um. So, long story short... There was this fan on Twitter that said, "I uh, I seen Caribou at this restaurant, and I was like, I was like, why did you um, why are you out of concrete? And and apparently, allegedly, Caribou said, uh, I didn't leave, I got kicked out. Yachty was bullying me. They um, <gasps> excuse me, Yachty was bullying me. Yada yada. Um, you know, he's not a good person. Blah 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 blah. Right. Um, and apparently, that, that's what this fan put on Twitter, and then she took a picture with her." Just to show, like, you know, I was with her and we talked, we had this conversation. So I guess Yachty, I guess Yachty seen that this happened. And because Caribou has been saying, like, Yachty been bullying me. Yachty been, you know, Yachty's a bully. That's, yeah. that's what all this has come to. Yachty is a bully. So Yachty got on Twitter and he was like, man, I really don't want to do this. Um, like, I really hate to do this, but I'm going on IG Live in 30 seconds. So we see Yachty go live. Man, he. Crashed. Yeah, it was about a, I think, twelve minute or so live um, on Instagram. Crashed the fuck out. He like <laughs> chewed caribou, spit her out, and then stepped on it. Um, he every, was, every, the whole concrete caught some strays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, right. so, who mainly caught the strays was caribou, and then his um his best friend and podcast partner uh, Mitch. So, um, lost, are they best friends? Apparently, they're they're like best friends. Apparently. Okay. Yeah. Like, uh, aside from the whole podcast thing, apparently they are best friends. Okay. So, um, so apparently Yachty, um, you know, he was telling, he's talking about Caribou. He was like, bro, I did nothing but support you. I did nothing but, uh, you know, help you, yada, yada. I wrote your under the radar freestyle, which everyone knows. That's how Caribou's name really blew up because of that freestyle. Um, yep. you know, her flow, you know, dropped yada, yada. The reference. Yeah. Yeah. And then he, um, she got nasty. so then he dropped the reference track of that, um, uh, of him, Basically rapping her her verse because he wrote it um, like the day before the under the radar freestyle and she rapped it and apparently that you know that is a fact so um so then he just talked about how he he took her on tour you know I bought you clothes I bought you chains I did this that and the third like you was you was wiping tables I I, I trusted you blah 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 you know basically it, it was a very like. You're my child. Like I basically like I birthed you into this. And yeah, the, like I made you. Yeah, I made I'm you this name, away. and the fact you're trying to slap me is crazy. Um, so you know, let's air it out. Let, let's do it. Yeah. And then um, like Tanner mentioned, you know, a couple of the concrete, the rest of the concrete members, DC Two Trio, Draft Day, and um, um, Camo. Cause him strays. He was just saying, you know, Bruce concrete. Said I dress five yeah. motherfuckers every time we stepped out of the house. Concrete is nine hundred k <laughs> in debt. Uh, I, I dressed all. I dressed all of y'all every time we step out the house. When I, whether we going to an interview, we going on a podcast, we doing this that and the third. You know, I, I do all this that and the third, right? Um. So then 
Mitch, so the, the whole Mitch thing was, so Yachty and Mitch, their um, Safe Place podcast, they uh, bring, basically they bring rappers and, and they just talk about, you know, whatever. But they had Key Glock as a guest on the podcast this past episode. And um, basically, I have still yet to watch the full episode. I, I, I've been seeing the clips, but I've yet to watch the full episode, so I could, um, you know, don't quote me. But basically, Yachty was getting real personal talking to Mitch um, about some things. He Basically, what, what I caught was he was just like, if it wasn't for me, you know, you you wouldn't you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be doing anything with your life. Yada yada. Like, you need to be. You should be happy that you have a rich friend that was in the industry. You should be happy. Yada yada. And I'm gonna be honest. That's a crazy way to talk to your best friend. Yeah, yeah. First of all, if you're talking to me, you talking to me that way, bro. Like, we not best friends. Hold on. First of all, who you who the fuck you talking to? And why are we doing this on camera? Like, yeah. You know, if we going there. Why did this get posted? Yeah. Why yeah. did this get uploaded? Yeah, that would have been one of those things. Just like, you know, hold on. Let's like, cut. Yeah, cut this. We out. need. To, yeah. Either run this back, or we just need to like cancel this yeah. episode because it's getting real personal and the vibe ain't right. And the whole time, um, basically the whole time, Yachty is like going at Mitch. Mitch is just like, uh, you know, okay, like, all right, yada yada. And then Key Glock just sitting there. He's just like that's so awkward to do that with a guest. Okay, like are we going to talk about me or what? Or like are yeah, we going like, to talk didn't, about? I didn't come on here to watch y'all argue. Yeah, yeah. So like, um, I can leave if y'all need to have a private conversation. Nah, correct. So um, and I'll I'll, I'll I'll tune into a DJ Academic stream and he was just saying like you could tell like this is some behind the scenes stuff that doesn't get on camera and he was just saying eventually, especially in the podcast world. Sometimes that can get it can get shown on camera. Um, you know, you could be beefing with a co-host on camera. You can try to smile yada yada, but you could tell there's some type of you know the vibe is yeah, off. Like whether a, it's yeah, communication like between yeah, whether it's communication or you know they're not making eye contact or I'm not asking them questions. They're not asking me questions. It's almost like they're not even there. You can tell something going on. So you can de- so academics was saying like you could tell like there was some tension in the room, especially when. Yachty just kept going on and on and on. He's just like, Mitch was just very just like, bro, you know, like. I would get it. Yeah, like, yeah. what does this have to do with Key Glock? <laughs> 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 like, what? It just seemed like it went very Yachty and Mitch battle instead of like Key Glock. Because now I'm, I'm sure, you know, it's Key like. Key Glock was probably like, can I leave? Yeah, you know, whenever you're just like the, the, the it's like three friends, two friends is arguing, and you're just there. Yeah, it's just like, like, all right, bro. Y'all go settle that, and then yeah, like I'll just holler at y'all because yeah, y'all tripping. y'all got some beef, obviously, <laughs> yeah. and I just don't really want to be here. It was a very, it was very pretty awkward. But um, I don't like so. I think then Yachty got on live and said on the the whole Mitch situation that he was like, "That's how we joke." Yeah. Like, so so that's so, kind of crazy. So Mitch goes on Twitter and he just basically saying uh, how. Um, you know, first of all, I had I had my stats, I had my points before I even met Yachty. Um, but that's just how we joke, and I know it's like a very odd way to joke, but that's how we play. That's how yada yada. Which you know, pause on that. I'm just like, like I don't I don't, I don't really joke with you like that. Like I'm not going to say nothing personal about Tanner. I'm not going to you know. We might you know there might be a height joke crack here and there. I might say something about you know whatever. But like I know it's like not a. Attack. I'm not. I'm not gonna say. I made you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I know. Bro, I'm not what? like you're not gonna attack me. I'm not gonna attack you. Like yeah, that's nah. just not what we got going that's on. It's like mad weird to treat your so called best friend. Yeah, like okay, like that's a that's very odd that you just say that. So now I see what you think. Yeah, you know, I thought we were like really homies. You know, like if you were to say something like that, I'd just be like, okay, like yeah, I just don't like. What, what, yeah, I mean everybody's friends in different ways, right? But like right. that's I don't consider that like, like I don't think I've ever I, I've never spoke down on Zimbo. correct, correct, yeah, ever. correct, correct, correct. Especially like I mean, <laughs> a height joke every now and then. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. You know, <laughs> but, I mean, but that's just cracking jokes. Like, yeah, that's, that's not, just cracking. I've never like talked about like I've never like like very came very personal. personal yeah, or no, like you like, know mad, I might weird. you know it might be a sensitive subject or something. Yeah, like this is mad weird. Yeah, so um, so anyway, Mitch got on Twitter and said that yada yada. Um, so double back on that. Yachty's on the stream. He's like, I called Mitch and uh, he was like, I called. I've been sleep all day. I called Mitch and I said, Why you ain't tell these people? Like we were joking, yada yada. 
And then Mitch was like, bro, it's just Twitter, bro. Like, you know, I ain't really pressed about it, yada, yada. And then he was like, yada, he said, oh, okay, well then fuck you. Fuck the podcast. I don't even want to do the fucking podcast. But see, like, I don't care about none of that. And yeah, see, just, it's one of those like, yada, you need to shut up. Yeah, right. Because it's like. like you, you, you're you saying way too much. Yeah, because it's like, all right. So let, now let's, fuck let's the break, podcast. Yeah, let's break this down into two, two situations, right? Yeah. So yeah. on the caribou side, I'm right. on Yachty's side. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. I've. Uh, I don't want everybody business out, but I've been in this situation. Oh yeah, me where too. You, where you, uh, me too. Where you fund somebody, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you give them a place to live. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You fund they whatever they got going on. You put money into them. You you really good friends with them. You support them mm -hmm. and all that shit. And then they do some weird shit. Yeah. Okay. Been in that situation. And when he was talking about caribou, he sounded like hurt. Like his oh, feelings yeah. was hurt. Oh yeah, you can you know tell that that really like, like, like he put. Yeah, you was trust. my dog. Yeah, bro. Like, he put like, trust. That's you know, crazy. Right? And I've been in this exact same situation. Me too. Me too. Um, I've been in it where you really spend the money behind somebody to chase their dreams and then they do some hoe shit. Yep. And I've been in that situation. Yeah. Um, but, and I know, like, that, yeah, like, he's, his feelings were probably hurt. He's probably like, damn. Like, Especially because, like, you was, was my, my first of all, friend. you was my assistant before anything. You yeah, know, you like, was really, like, my best girlfriend. Um, you know, then I, I saw you spark interest, wanted to be an artist, so I helped you. I funded you. I, I, I got your clothes, you, like, studio yeah. time, beats. I even wrote your verse, yada, yada. Like, I'm going in debt for you. Yeah, basically, I'm going in debt. I'm spending my hard-earned money on you. Yeah. Like, this is money I'm making, yeah. and I'm spending it on you. And then for you to just say, yeah, he bullied me. He don't care about me. Fuck him. Fuck my yada, yada. I was like. Yeah, it's just some weird bro, shit. Bro, what? Right. Like, so that's, that's the weird. The nerve. Yeah, it's the yeah, nerve. That's weird. And uh, I'm sure Caribou, it might be over with. I'm gonna be honest, cause she was performing at she was performing wherever she was performing. Yeah, yeah, and there yeah. There wasn't nobody there. Yeah, nah, nah. Yeah, we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. Um, get to but that. the whole Mitch situation is a different situation where there was two halves of this live. In the first half, I thought Yachty was right. In the second half, I do not agree with Yachty at all. And I think Yachty was acting like a hoe in that yeah, situation. Yeah, the, the the more he was talking. The worse it was getting, yeah, it's like, Yachty, was, uh, yeah, you, you need to, like a hoe right somebody now. need to get get your phone and hit in live. Like, like bro, like, that was some hoe shit. Like, whether you're mad at your and best I'm a, friend. I'm a Lil Yachty supporter. I love Lil oh, Yachty's music. I've been Yachty supporter since 2015. He always pushed it. I, I wasn't, but yeah. I'm a new, I'm a new, yeah, I'm, yeah. A new I'm, no, a newly, yeah, yeah. I'm a new Lil Yachty yeah. supporter. But They won for sure. Uh, he always pushes a positive vibe, and that's why this was this whole thing was kind of weird. But I get it. They pushed him to his breaking point. Um, the whole caribou shit, but I don't think the mid shit that shouldn't have got involved with that. I think that was emotions running hot. Yeah, yeah, that was one of those on things where shit. that's one of those things where you just like, oh yeah, oh yeah, and fuck him too. Yeah, that's why we saying fuck him exactly. You know what? Now I think about it, fuck her too because you know you're yeah, you're you just you now just, you just calling everybody out exactly. You just blanking out now. and it's like, bro, nope. Like despite what Twitter thought, you know they thought it was weird. Yada, yada. That was one of those things where if you don't say nothing. That would have just died. I would yeah. just let you think, well, oh, you know, Yachty was, Yachty, Yachty, you know, Yachty was trying to little bro here and Yachty, boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to be honest, like, from from Mitch's perspective, like, we got a box. Oh, yeah. Because nah, you're not about to talk to me That's like not this. one of those, look, bro, you know, my bad. I, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Like, we actually need to box. We we can box it out. And we're going to be friends again. Yeah, then we, we can be friends not, again. I don't give a fuck what you did for me. Because this is on a public, this is, yeah. vet, this is Twitter, plus, Instagram, Shades and like, Academics. See, like. That that painted a bad picture of Yachty because those are the worst kind of people, right? The people that like help out everybody and like and like try to seem like they doing all this out of all love, this, out of love heart, and genuine. And then the first chance they get, they throw it in your face. That's the worst kind of person. Yeah, right. That, like yeah. I done done. I, done, I me personally, I done done a lot for a lot of people, and I would never throw it in their face because I did it out of the kindness. I, right. I did it because I really right, supported yeah, them, right, and right. I really fucked with them. Correct. You know what I'm saying? And like. To be the person that's like, oh, I'm gonna throw that in your face. You don't remember all this shit I did for you? Like that's some whole shit. Yeah, that is, yeah, yeah. Like that, that painted a bad picture of Yachty. Um, and I just don't, I don't like people that are like that. Um, nah, I don't either. Because you shouldn't. You should. The the point of, you should give with no expectations, right? Yeah. Like, you help somebody out, you should not expect nothing from them because you made that choice to help them. Um. So Yachty throwing that back in his face, like I made you all that shit. Yeah, we got a box because you're not gonna look. You're not. Yeah. Nobody we, in life should. Little you bro should me. never let anybody little bro you. Yeah. No. Nah, like, like, and don't call. Is. I don't give a fuck how old you is or don't call nobody big homie. 
Like, don't call nobody my, like, I don't give a fuck about none of that, right? Like, yep. nobody in life should be able to little bro you. Yeah, nah. Nah, you ain't my little bro. Like, nah. like, I don't give a fuck how old you is. 40, you could be 100. <laughs> like, yeah, right, you're not right, going right. to talk down yeah, to you. Yeah, nah, nah, Like, nah, nobody nah. should be able to talk down to you. Um, and Mitch, even if he did, you know what I'm saying, like, I mean, I'm sure Yachty helped you out a lot, but um, it's not cool to throw shit like that in your friend's face, especially your so-called best friend. Yep. I don't fuck with that at all. So this morning, as of Sunday morning, um, so Caribou got on Instagram. Well, well, let me let me do the timeline. So um Caribou posted on her story. She was like, um, she was like, Yachty, like who ain't right, like who ain't write these raps? Like, come on, like quit oh, playing with yeah. me, yada yada. And she highlighted the where's my uh where's your daddy and um running late track. Um, but she didn't highlight the under radar freestyle. So um she also didn't highlight anything on the it's us volume one other than where your daddy is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she um she highlighted that or whatever. And then um I don't think Yachty said uh really anything about that. And then she got on this morning, she said, I'll never forget this feeling, this chapter in my life, I'll never be the same. I'll never forget who wasn't there for me. I done chunked people out, spent my last slap folks for niggas. I ride every time naturally, but that's just how I am. Nobody owe me shit, to be honest. I'm just taking a mental note. I can't even look at most people the same way. To know the truth and watch a grown man with 12 million followers overly lie on my name and publicly bully me for literally no reason at all while I silently been conquering all the shit niggas been throwing at me this whole time behind closed doors. I'll never ignore the steps again, and I will never stop no matter how much they hate me. Um. So then... This seemed like some playing victim shit, to be honest. Yeah, so then... um. Yachty posted, don't throw rocks and hide your hand on this story, right? So then Caribou said, I never threw rocks and you have my number, you big grown bitch. Leave me alone. <laughs> Literally, Yachty. I never said nothing about shit and I still ain't said nothing about what's really going on. I don't want no beef with you. Industry people, just move on with your life. Stop trying to bring me down when I stay out the way. I'm done talking. You got it. Your character going to speak for itself. And that was the, that was the last thing he said. Um... So, I, knew, yeah. I knew this shit was coming. I think we called this, but I knew this shit was coming. <sighs> the the thing being bullied at your at your grown ass age is crazy. The thing the thing the problem with this is, bro, it's just like, cause I, and I seen this tweet. It was very interesting. Um, there was like, this is Yachty's third set of friends, yeah. right? So normally they the problem. So we we gotta bring it back, right? So a lot of you don't know about Enzy. Enzy was was Yachty K Prime, um. It was like two or three other niggas. This was like this was like 2016, 15, like double XL around that time. Double XL freestyle. Um, then he started the selling team. That was with Cody Shane, BU, um, Burberry Perry, J Bands, Chubba. Try I'm missing two other people or so. But there was the selling team. That was the group. He took them on tour. Yep. You know, he very big, big promo. Um, all this interviews, all that. Then I remember he later on he got on an interview with academics and he was like, I got tired of trying to pay my friends to rap and they weren't taking it serious. I had to force them to get to the studio and he was like, I just got tired of that. I mean, I'm making my own money and I'm trying to fund you and y'all not taking it serious. So we know whatever. So that that split. So now you got the concrete boys, which was camo, DC2 Trill, Caribou, um, draft Yachty, day. and Draft Day. So that went on for uh, maybe a year and a half or so. Five months. <laughs> yeah, damn near. And now this is happening. So a lot of people, are, uh, I saw a lot of tweets that were uh, saying, Yachty got to be the problem. Okay. And that's what I was going to get into. Yeah. Yachty. Right. And I think we talked about this a long time ago. Yeah. was like, whenever you're friends with someone, whenever, whenever you think of someone who always has a new friend or, or do this, that, and the third, it can't be everybody else got a problem but you. Exactly. You must be the problem. You got to be the problem. Yeah. Uh, of some sort, whether it's minor or major, you got to be the problem. Yeah. Um. Like, let's let's think about this, right? Let's just think about, okay, just the normal human beings, right? Okay. M me and you have known each other for what? Damn near 10 years yeah, at this about, point? Yeah, about a decade, yeah. Okay. How many people have you seen me fall out with? Probably one. I say definitely less than three. Yeah, less yeah, than three. Probably I can only think of one yeah. in the past decade, my past right. Like that I fell out with. Right. 
I can think of one. Yeah. For you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yachty just fell out with 17 people in, yeah. the, in the past like, decade. Without exaggerating, yeah. I mean, at least, at least 12 minimum. Right. So like I could probably count if I really sit here and, and, we, and y'all want me to count. <laughs> and we all know we all know people like this in life, right? Every every couple months they got a new friend group because they fell out with their other one. Yep. And typically, and in a few more months, they're gonna fall out with that one. They're gonna have a new friend group. Yeah, it's a um that's um and yeah. most of the time it's because they're not good friends. And as you can see, what Yachty just did. Very like Caribou said, it, your character is going to show that didn't that was not a good look for Yachty. Like that no. was a terrible, terrible look. You already was getting a lot of heat from this whole concrete Caribou About thing. Bullying. Yeah, and, and then, then then you on the podcast bullying, bullying your best friend. Then you go on live <laughs> airing out the, the 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 two motherfuckers you was really rocking with. Yeah. You know, like That's rough. Yachty, you ain't looking good, and especially for you to be preaching about positivity. You know, yada yeah. yada. Yachty, that that like, that like didn't I said, look I was good, split bro. on the live. The first half, I was like, "All right, Yachty, feelings hurt," and he was he felt it sounded like he in the right. Yeah, yeah. Second half, you acting like a hoe. Yeah, like, and, and I hate it because I'm, I'm I'm a huge Yachty fan, and it's just like, bro, like this is not this is not good. Like, nah, this is not and it's good. like it goes against everything he's always pushed. So. But he does. He has had a lot of falling outs. He he's had a lot of falling outs. Um, and it's, it it was funny. Uh, whenever I was mentioning the whole seventeen thing, K Supreme, who who was like Yachty's day one, uh, he quoted it one of the tweets that said like this is Yachty's like third set of friends, and like he just put a bunch of laughing emojis. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, K Supreme, you need to tell your side of the story because they fell out so silently, and like they were locked. They've been locked in since before like rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Whenever you see someone like, okay, y'all been locked in for years, then they just, I mean, it's just like with Burberry Perry too. Yeah. You know, that was your producer. That was the one who produced about 90% of the the first Little Boat Project beats. Yeah. Like, he gave you that sound. Whenever it was the bubblegum trap sound, yeah. he gave you that sound. Then out of nowhere, gone. Disappear. But, yeah, and that's like, people that fall out with a lot of people typically just don't know how to be a good friend to people. That too, bro. But that's cause... not like something that everybody knows how to do, right? Like nah, not everybody true. is a good friend. Nah. Not everybody's really looking out for their friends. No. Right. Some people are just selfish and only give a fuck about them. Yeah. You're and, right. <laughs> and maybe Yachty's one of them people. Yachty might be. Um I mean but, it's worked out, I guess. Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> but to move to move forward about it, what does Yachty need to do? Stay the fuck off the internet. Shut the fuck up. Put Yachty got to shut up. Put out music. Keep pushing. And keep doing the podcast. Don't be lame. I meant to highlight this. Um, so then, so I think it was like Yachty's cousin or Yachty's friend of a friend or something. It, it was, there's, there's, there's this woman involved where Yachty was like smashing her. And I think it was like Yachty's like homegirl's best friend or something it was some kind of relation like with that right yeah so she went on twitter and she was like it, it was it, it was in defense of the whole mitch thing she was like yo like i don't say stuff i don't i don't come on here i don't air out anything but like y'all not about to come from mitch like that um and yadi like if you want me to air it out too we can all air it out he was like i got she's like i got a lot of dirt on you so you need to like chill the fuck out about all that shit so then Yachty, he got on the um the little Twitter spaces where you can speak or whatever. And he was just like, he was just like, shut the, like, shut the fuck up. Like, like, we don't care about you. You um you come here in my crib, uh, you know, yada yada. And if you got some dirt on, if you got some dirt on me, then go ahead and lay it out. Like, lay it out then. And um she was like, Oh yeah, and then he was like, Mitch, you need to like get your bitch. Like, like get your bitch. I already told you we don't like. I don't like her. Yada yada. And then she was like, Yadi, like if you just knew like half the shit, like if you like you know what goes down behind the scenes, yada yada. Like I really will air it out publicly. Like so, you, what you want to do, type of thing. Um, and then yeah, that was that. But <sighs> bad look, bad look for Yadi. Nothing came good out of this. No, but it never does. 
And I don't get when people are going to understand. Like, bro, I've never seen somebody getting on live and ranting and bitching and acting crazy. Go I'm good. I'm like, bro, first of all, you a grown man, first of all. Yeah, like, let's, why let's are you just on start IG there. Live gossiping? Ranting and, and sound like you're about to cry. Like, first of all, yeah, let's like, start there. Like, Two, all this type of things, because stuff like this does happen. You got to keep this behind the scenes. You, you gotta, need to have a conversation with these people. Yeah, instead like, of going on live saying, yeah, I'm about to air this shit out. Y'all need to be either hopping on a call. Y'all need to be texting. Y'all need to be getting yeah. on a FaceTime call. Hey, look, you know, before academics get a hold of this, yada, yada, let, like, let's chop it up. Like, yeah, what's up? It felt very like high school gossipy bullshit. Yeah, that ain't that ain't how you do that, that bro. Ain't it. Like, I would never. I don't care if we beef. I don't care if we've been best friends, y'all. I'm not getting on no damn Instagram. I'm not posting stories. I'm not going on Twitter. I'm not going on Facebook. Bro, I'm not arguing with you on social media. I'm not. First of all, I'm, I'm just not arguing with you. I'm really not arguing with you, too. I'm not doing that over social media. If you, there is a problem, there's an issue you want to talk, y'all have my number. Yeah. Damn near know where I live. Yeah, let's uh let's let's handle this direct. Yeah, y'all or yeah. we can meet up and we can really handle this like it nobody else gotta know. You ain't gotta know, you ain't gotta know. Yeah. We can really talk this out and whether you know we, we continue being friends or not, that's up to us. Or we but, can fight. Like, yeah, or we can box that like it just <laughs> don't put this shit on Instagram because it's not gonna make me look good. It's gonna make you look good and it's it's people talk, people talk. Yeah, you you and if you have such a it. rep if you have a rep a rep that really means something. Like, bro, you don't need none of that. Nothing bad against your name. So, anyway, I said that to say, like, Yachty. Stay the fuck off the internet, man. Because he said he, he had Twitter. Um, he had Twitter deleted, Instagram deleted. And, the and deleted. Somebody called him and was like, hey, you know, boom, boom, boom. You need to delete. You need to. You got to go ghost. Yeah, you need bro. to go off the radar. No pun. And because the, the mid shit make you look bad, bro. The mid, the caribou you, shit, whatever. Yeah, whatever. The mid shit make you look bad. Cause this is your, this is your dog. This is supposed to be your best friend. This is supposed to be your dog, your day one, yeah. your right hand. Boom, boom, boom. This shit make you. And look you like basically a said, friend. you basically said, Mitch, you came to me and said, I need something to do with my life. So I said, okay, let's start a podcast. Let's get you some money in your pockets. He was like, I don't want to do no fucking podcast. Like fuck that. But I'm gonna help your ass out. See. So that was your that was really what you thought when I said, "Hey, let's do a podcast." That's what you was thinking. Yeah. Well, fuck that shit. Oh, basically, so you need some money. Okay, bet. So that that was your thoughts. Yeah. Okay, that's boom. just that's not good. That's not being a good friend. That's man. not being a good friend. If you ain't want to do the shit, just say you just don't say do that. It. Yeah. Then okay, well then you know I'll do it by myself or you know boom boom. Like I'm sure you'll still have guests on there due to you know Yachty's connection yada yada. Yeah, but, but it's, like it's just weird. don't do it just to. Throw some money in my pocket, like yeah, it's weird. And damn sure don't like throw it in my face. Yeah, don't throw it in my face on line. Instagram. Yeah, like that's just weird, bro. Like if me and you both knew that, then we, let's keep it. You know, let's yeah. keep it that way. Yes, yeah, okay. I might, I might have came to you as a legit friend. Like, hey, I just need some more money coming in. Do you think you could do this favor? You know, yeah. do you think you could do this with me? Okay, cool. Then I know off the street you was wanting to help me. But see, like this go, this is ruined the podcast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Like right. next because episode, it's gonna be mad awkward. Like they're it's not mad gonna be able awkward. to talk to each other. Yeah, like y'all that. can't act like nothing happened. Everybody in the comments is just gonna be talking about, you know, oh they trying to be cool. Oh they, ooh. yeah. And plus, y'all ain't not said fuck the podcast. He said fuck me, fuck the podcast. I don't even like talking to rappers. Fuck that shit. I don't even do that like, shit. Like I don't know, joking like that with your friends. Like, I don't, like of course, of course, everybody jokes. With everybody their jokes, cracks with their friends. But normally it's, it's like more like looks related or yeah like, yeah I'm just I'm just, just I'm just joining you you yeah. know I'm just joining you like you, like, like oh look jokes. at your shoes yeah. like you need some it's new just, your shoe dirty as hell yeah. you know what I'm it's saying it's just jokes but I'm not like oh you need some new shoes oh but you can't afford it because you ain't got no job and you <laughs> you know yada yada you ain't got no car to go get you know it's just like, yeah, it's like what like, god yeah. damn what the fuck <laughs> you could have just said my shoes are dirty as hell and I would have said ha ha like you ugly uh, yeah. but no now you come I ain't got no job I ain't got no my baby mama tripping. I yeah. ain't got no. But yada see, like, yada. imagine having like. Uh, so imagine you roasting your friends, and somebody has a comeback like that. But there's a camera on, and it goes out to me and the people to see. Yeah, like, nah, like, nah, this nah. Is weird, yeah, nah. Bro. Fuck you, bro. This like, shit is weird. You basically, you really like humiliated me. Like, fuck you. Yeah, like, like this shit is I, weird. It's like, what did I do? What did I do to you to if deserve I'm bitch, that? I'm punching you, Addy. Yeah, oh, like God. nah, bro. We gotta. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm we really gotta link ass. up, bro. Yeah. We, we gotta link Especially up. Especially we best friends. I'm firing off on your ass. Like, and I'm sure, Straight I'm sure up. Mitch and Yachty both like shared, you know, like 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 thoughts and and like you know just stuff that's going on in their lifestyle. Like yeah. I, I might know some stuff, you know, nobody else knows yada yada. And it's just like nah, bro. You supposed to be my brother. Like you literally yeah. supposed to be my brother. Like 
Nah, we gotta fight. We actually we have to See, fight. See, Mitch should have just turned up on his ass. Yeah, yeah that's why you a fucking Cause, lean head. Yeah, cause, right. Yeah, no, literally, like <laughs> that's why you a fucking addict. Oh, fuck the podcast. Oh, word. That's what we doing. Oh, okay, well, that's why. That's why you ain't got no fucking friends. That's why you buying your friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, but I get Mitch was like, look, you know, I'm I'm trying to keep professional. I just want to, you know, yada yada. To conclude this episode, yadi, be better friends to people. Like yeah. being a good friend, you don't is not want hard. that, bro. You don't want that rep. Like that's bro, not a good friend, bro. Being a good friend is not hard. It's really not. Like it's one like of just look out easiest for your, things I've done. Just look out for I ain't really got to put no effort to it. Just, just if like, I give a damn about you, then I give a damn just, about you. Just you know what I'm saying? Look out for your friends. It's yeah, really not that hard. Like, and don't like, bro. Like, oh my god, bro. Like, okay, so you remember like, uh, uh, like the high school cliques. Yeah. Not like our high school in particular, mm-hmm. but just like cliques in general, mm-hmm. right? There was always seemed to be like a leader. Yeah, right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, that's the face of it. Yeah, that's like a weird way to be friends. Yeah. There yeah. shouldn't be a leader of your friend group. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> like, nah. There's, there's, we just friends. Yeah, we're, we're just, just cool. All friends. You know, he's the rapper. I'm the producer. I, I have yeah, the podcast. Like, she's she's a rapper. She likes to dress. She That's the DJ. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like a Yachty and. Etc. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's not like a leader of your friend group. That shit is weird. That's a weird way to be a human being. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's tough. Yeah, it didn't it didn't look good, Yachty. And I fuck with you. Oh yeah, I fuck with Yachty for sure. And I'm gonna still listen to all your music. I'm gonna still watch your podcast. We still do it because I like the podcast. But Since right now, there's there's a um, there's a leak in the system, man. There's, there's, yeah, there's man, a leak. You in have the, to clean this up. There's a leak. You gotta clean it up. And the way you need to clean it up is uh, get the fuck off the internet. Yeah, man, don't go on Instagram Live no more. You fucking no. 28 years old. Or yeah, old you. Old you is. Yeah, bro. There's you. nothing anybody on in this planet could say to me to make me get on Instagram Live. I'm not doing that, especially to air people out. Yeah, no. like if I have a problem with you, I will just call you or I will text you. I'm like, hey, look, we need to talk. Boom, boom, boom. I've done that plenty of times. Hey, look, we need to talk. Let's talk. Bro. I'm not going on Twitter. I'm not going on Facebook. Hey, at so and so, like, like, hey, you know why? Blah 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 blah. Like, I ain't doing that, bro. I gotta, I gotta rep. Like, it, well, I'm just not doing that. It's not the internet's. That's not for them to know. Like, no. When I fall out with somebody, nobody knows. Yeah, like except me and that person. Like no, like it don't need to get messy. I don't need to subtweet yeah. you. And, don't it, need to... And, and we also don't have to have a problem with each other. No, we don't. No, nah. if like, we bro, fall I just out, don't fuck with you. Yeah, if we fall out. I, I fall out with people where like, look, I don't, I don't, I don't have a problem with them to this day. I will never say nothing bad about them, and I, I hope the same. And we leave it there. Yeah, I hope that a, person is doing great. People, yeah, I mean, straight up, it's just like some people just ain't meant to be friends forever. Yeah, like, it's just like know? boyfriend and girlfriend. Like you know, if y'all break up, either a you want to talk shit about your ex, or b a look, I, man. And I tell you, I what, cherished that, our times, and it was fun. That is that, and that is a like that is key to knowing somebody's character. Oh right? yeah, yeah, especially their exes. Yeah. If you with somebody and they just walk around shit on their ex all the time. and Because I'm like, like bro, at that. one point, you was yeah. head over heels about this exactly. person. And like, we seen you head over yeah, heels, bro. That's, that's just like a telltale sign of like, okay. Yeah. Like, I see, I, I, I know I see what how kind y'all of person you yeah. are. I see how y'all right? are. Like, if we fall out, you're going to be bad mouthing me to much. everybody. Yeah, that's that's what that says and now. I, and I'm not going to say nothing about you to nobody. Nah, just, hey, I wish not, I wish them and the best. And if somebody asks me what happened, I'm going to tell them what happened. I'm going to tell them the truth, and I ain't going to make no shit up. And hey, man. I wish I wish nothing but the best for them, and, and God is good. Everybody always says there's two sides to a story. No, there's not. There's one side. The truth. Yeah, it's one side. <laughs> what it's happened? one side. Yeah, what happened? Yeah. And we can either shake hands or, or we can just say, you know, we'll bump you, bump yeah. you too. And then Move we ain't got to talk ever again. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. It's really, I mean, like, just be respectful. Like, just, bro, you know, bro, walking around in life with a pro- having a problem with somebody is insane. Yeah. I. <laughs> that is a waste of time. I promise you, if there is a problem between me and you, I don't you know have about a it. problem with me. <laughs> I have I too know. much going on to bro, be sitting here beefing with somebody. Bro, I have no ops. <laughs> no, bro. I really don't. Like I, I promise you, I don't. I like if I hear, oh, I heard you. So you and you, so and so beefing. We uh, are. Yeah, I've gotten that before. I'm like, oh, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, like just shit news to me. 
Well, damn. I hope they get yourself together. <laughs> yeah, I hope they figure that out. Yeah, and if there's a um, problem, just tell him. Yeah, that's it. We can talk. Whatever. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's just weird. Yeah. That's weird. Don't badmouth people you fell out with. It make you look bad. Amen. Don't badmouth people in general. Amen. Should make you look bad. Make you look like a sucker. Make you look bad. To conclude, don't be a sucker. Yeah. That's, 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 a, that's a that's a that's, that's a hard thing for some people. <laughs> that's it. Just don't be a sucker. It's a hard thing. Don't be a sucker. It's a hard thing. Um You know, that's not as simple as you would think it would be. It's just some people some people's blood, man. It's hey man. Sucker. You a sucker. Hey man. Oh. Meek Mill got a line about that. No, the game got a line about that. Shout out game, man. Your daddy was a bitch. I had to do it. <laughs> and I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Your daddy was a bitch. Yeah, because if you weren't raised by solid people, I mean, shit, you just don't Dang. know what it looked like. You don't know what it looked like. That's sad. That's rough. It ain't got to be your daddy. It could be your mama, your yeah, grandma. Just, if you weren't raised you by solid people, around you don't know what it looked like. You was raised around the bitch. Damn. Yeah, it's in your blood. You can't help it. Nope. That's rough. <laughs> <laughs> All mine heart's clear. I'm good. Make sure you follow Tana, Pay Pay Records. Make sure you follow me at zebo.g, the zebo page, zebo and C, the podcast page, last minute podcast. Make sure you tune in Zebo's Boom Box where you can find your next favorite NC artist on Spotify, Apple Music. Shout out to our sponsors, Mama Tita's Food Chuck and Libation Love Bar. And wherever you are, make sure you, um, you're supporting your local music scene. Go to their shows. If it's Rent- good. If it's good. Sorry. <laughs> Shout out Cam Jesse. If it's good, go to their shows. Um, you know, run their albums, put it on your story, show them, show them some love. This is not an easy industry. And um, yeah. Last words? Uh, don't be a hoe. Don't be a hoe. Um, don't be a sucker. We out. <laughs> but just know, Zebo is where it's at. Oh, Zebo TV, North Carolina. Yeah. yeah.